Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Today we're going to learn about job queues, which is the topic in MBA 200 exam where set up Business Central to set up core functionality and it's probably the third or fourth which is set up um, and use job queues. Brief information about the job queue is a job queue is basically an abstraction that uses the task scheduler from the platform to enable end user to view, create, or modify jobs that, that are set to run in background. Uh, it can be a recurring schedule as well. So basically, you wanna, if you want to run any jobs um, during the time you're not on the system, and because the job use can be very heavy as well, uh, so you don't want to block the system or slow down the system. So you can set up job queues later on and schedule them so you can uh, get these jobs done later on and you can see the reports or uh, anything like that. So with that, go to tell me option and job queue entries. And then you can you can see different jobs already available. Some of them are ready, uh, some of them are on hold, some of them have got errors. So you gotta make a new job queue, you can press new. So you can see different fields here, uh, where you can put object level and, um, sorry, object type and ID and etc. description, parameters. And you can put show less as well like that, and show all. For more information, this is the recurring side, and this, that's the parameter side. Uh, what parameters you want to put into the jobs like PDF or Word or Excel or you want to print it or you, you don't want to do anything. So object type to run can be two major side. One is the report side, one is the code unit. So code unit you have to provide the actual code, what you want to do with the code or what you want to do with this um, job uh, once it's finished or you want to set an email after that or you want to post uh, sales in MySys or etc uh, etc. Et so reports are only we use reports for the timing because the other side is complicated. So reports are to just um, send the reports um, of the job when the job's finished. So here you got two, uh, three, uh, four, a uh, few options sorry. Uh, you can set the job ready, you can put it on hold, you can restart here and you can run once foreground uh, just to check with this successful you can see the errors as well in job queue option you can see report request uh, request page and you can show records or you can see, uh, show logs or you can see the log entries right so if you go there to select um, what kind of job you want to do on what um, object you want to do a job for or table so let's say if we select an object there as um, you can say batch post sales orders. Yeah, we selected that. So here you can select this option obviously um, to provide the information um, that what is included during automatic posting of sales order and uh, what you require here. So uh, we'll just put shipment and invoice and we can put the posting date. Posting date let's put on 27 and that date is 30th for example. Um, you can do replace posting date or that late date and you can also put print um, and then and then you press OK after that. So that's the whole scenario um, of the job queue. And if you want to do recurring, so you can select run the job on Mondays and you can do the jobs on Fridays. So it's going to show the recurring um, days. Start time, let's say, report 7 o'clock, 7 a.m. And then, so this job is ready. Now we need to set the status to ready. That's it. If you go back, you're going to be able to see the batch post sale order that's ready. So when the time comes um, during that time, uh, it's going to uh, run the report. Um, 
and uh, and if you click back then you can also see uh, what what's going uh, to be there obviously it's for is the company name user id that's whichever users using it and last date state was this and then early start date is 11th to 27th or 27th november and then it's 12 hours timeout and it's the status shows it's ready and we here we just selected non-processing um only at the moment so be, which can be pdf or word or excel or print so to select a, a background posting with the job queue you can also go for example um uh, sales and receivable setup let's see let's see the setup yeah and then background posting if you see there you can say you can see it says post with job queue yes post and print with job queue yes job queue categories so you got different categories as well uh, let's put it there as well job queue categories so you got different kind of categories made already uh, for the job queues uh, for the time being obviously it's a trial version so you can create a new one as well you can edit the list and you can delete it so those categories are here as well you can select obviously we're doing it with, with the with the sales side so we're going to do that and it's going to be a notification on success to the user who is um, uh, making this job and you can get a report as well like you can uh, do pdf or if you're not the printer it probably asks for the printer setting as well but we haven't got the moment so we select pdf another thing i want to mention is that if you go back to job entries so you can see different um, areas here so it can be on hold or it can be ready or it can be uh, in progress or error there should be error message if there's any error like that or it can be finished or on hold due to inactivity so here for this job if you click on run once for foreground uh, yes it's executing the job and check if everything's okay with that for foreground for the timing all of your selections uh, were processed and it's successful so that means there's no there won't be any errors there So the job queue entries, obviously you got new, you can create a new job, you can edit here, you can delete here and edit that, uh, obviously a specific job. You can view here, you can get ready or restart here or you can run once uh, the foreground obviously uh, if you just want to check if there are any er errors. So you can put on hold, you can see the errors or you can go to related and job queue. You got a few options there um, so where you can uh, see the log entries, you can see the records or remove all entries and run the current job queue entry now so if you go to log entries if there's anything there it will show you what's the entries logged uh, let's see if we go to this one and click log entries there's nothing there as well let's see we're gonna go to on hold run oh sorry I just want to show you how it looks like when it's uh, the log entry shows something. No, most of these are empty. So this is in a hole. Let's try to check the log entries for this for telemetry um, management. So if you go to uh, job queues, log entries, so you can see the entries which are logged successful company name, username, whoever that was the user, what was the object, it was called unit instead of uh, report and that's the object ID and these are the timings etc etc. Another thing you can go to, you go over is job queue uh, log entries you probably see all the, the um, for this user all the logs are there you can see the status different states are there and different kind of description of the job or what the job's for and what object we use we use the reports or code unit and that's the object um, ID there 
and then you can check uh, what was the job actually uh, object caption to run and timings and obviously um, the posting side of that you can also go to scheduled um, tasks to see what um, the tasks are scheduled already so username as it is is it ready or not um, what is it called Juna or it can be um, well you can put the filters there and the field account called Juna side and the company name and obviously the information about the uh, company is what company was used and this is sided or object side it will tell you everything you can also check this table obviously to know um, what the event ID was and what was the event and what was the job queue status and description so this was just a basic video for how to set up uh, and use job queues uh, we'll go into details because obviously we need to know different things first and then we can mix up the different things later on uh, in the videos to know how job queues actually work when we make the workflows or uh, sales and purchase orders and if we want to send a notification or email or uh, everything so we need to uh, we'll just uh, learn these things later on so it was just a basic one to know how what the job queues are and how to use it uh, thank you for watching my video